What we have here is a really old battery charger. This thing, my dad used it when he ran a garage back in the early 70s, mid to early 70s. And I promise you this is probably from the 60s, probably from the 60s, um, but it may be early 70s. But it still works. I just uh, don't use it anymore. And um, so I'm going to scrap it. I'm going to scrap it because, uh, well, mainly because of these big ass copper cables here that are definitely worth something. And so I thought you guys might like to see inside. I'm going to gather the copper from the inside too, although there's not going to be anything. Well, I'll show you the front panel now. It's a Marquette Model 319. And there you can choose 6 volt over here or 12 volt over here, and you can choose your charge level 1, 2, or 3. 3 is a lot more powerful, I guess, if you want to do a quicker charge or if you're going to try to get the car started. You go to three, but a slower charge, you just run it on a one on off switch and your charge meter there. And that's it. That removed. And there are the internals. This is. Selenium. Rectifier. Selenium rectifier is what this says. A selenium rectifier. Well, a rectifier is a diode. So basically, we got a big ass transformer and a diode, I guess. Big ass transformer, selenium rectifier, aka diode. Um, you can see there's a cooling fan in the back. And let's flip around the other side. Oh, got another selenium rectifier on the other side. So another diode on the other side. I'm betting, I may be wrong, but I'm betting one's for 6 volt and one's for 12 volt. There's the motor for the fan. So transformer, two diodes. These little guys here, I don't know if that's a resistor or a capacitor of some sort. Um, but that's it. What's on the front? I mean, that's just a rotary switch. I see no other components in there. I see no other components other than, other than what you see right here. So selenium rectifier on each side big ass transformer ac motor for the fan these devices uh, they are both connected to the ammeter up here as is one of the power leads the oh which one is that you're gonna make me Follow it down just so I can tell you which lead that is. Now that's the power, that's the positive lead. So the ammeter has a connection from each of these devices on either side, and the positive lead is connected to the ammeter. And so the negative lead is connected to, it's like it's connected directly to the transformer. So, anyway, there it is. I'll be harvesting the power cord and these cables here and honestly I'm not going to screw with any of the rest of that. There's such small amounts of it in there. I'll just hack these two cables here and then hack this AC 110 line off here and be done with it. Here we see a close-up of the selenium rectifier, one of them, and uh, just a few more close-ups uh, for you guys. As I thought about it, I, I realized that um, there's a lot of copper 
in that big old transformer and enamel covered copper and so I will pull that out and see if I can harvest that wire because uh, that's the whole purpose is I'm selling the copper just because it's worth something there's the other rectifier remnants of a dirt dauber's nest the rear fan and got a shot of the front panel here and there you go Hope you guys enjoyed the look at my vintage charger.